Thank you, uh, WTIN, for bringing this conference to, uh, to the Netherlands. Uh, we have seen also some speakers already coming from the Netherlands. Uh, we saw a lot of things going on about fabric. But uh, the nicest thing you can do with fabric, apart from wearing it, is, is printing it. Um, because when we started in 1987, people were asking us, can you make a digital printer as fast as a rotary machine? Because that's what we need. Well, our first machine was printing one square meter per hour. Not per minute, but per hour. But it was printing it with four colors, and you could print everything you saw uh, on, a, on a textile. And remember, this is four years before Windows 95 came out. So we didn't have any color monitors, so we could not even see the design that we were going to print. We couldn't see it on our monitor. The first time we saw the design was when we actually printed it. So it took us 27 years to go from one square meter uh, per uh, hour to uh, 40 meters per minute, or even faster if we would want to. And this technology is used for something that uh, people uh, know as a very uh, popular uh, term now, fast fashion. And um, uh, it was already uh, mentioned one time about fashion in general by, uh, by Oscar Wilde. And he, uh, he said, OK, it's uh, so ugly uh, that we have to alter it every six months. This was in the past. Every six months, you got a new collection. Well, you probably know that now if you go into a store of uh, Zara or Topshop or whoever, uh, if they don't change the collection every six weeks, they are already outdated. OK, what, what does fast fashion need? Uh, you see on the right-hand side, I've listed a couple of things that, that uh, uh, the brands want if they are going to print textiles. Uh, they want to be uh, free of uh, choice of design. They don't want to have any limitations of the amount of colors or a repeat every 64 centimeters. They want uh, unlimited freedom. They want to have, of course, low cost. Uh, and they want to be uh, green and everything. Now, and on the left-hand side, I put what is rotary printing doing in this? And what is digital printing doing in this? And then you see immediately that digital basically is addressing a lot of those things that the brands want. But not all of them, especially if you look at the cost side. Then you see that rotary printing still has a very big benefit. And in the end, uh, people want to be green, but cost is also important. So let's see how we can address in digital uh, these uh, uh, negative things about the cost. And uh, a question that we often get is, where is the break-even point between rotary printing and digital printing? And it's not easy to answer that question, because there's a lot of parameters that are influencing that break-even point. Because if you have a design with only a few colors, that means you need less screens. So rotary printing is cheaper than when you have a design which uses eight or maybe even 12 colors or more. But also, if you use that same screen to print multiple colorways, then uh, the cost will go down in the, in the rotary. Here I have an example of uh, a very simple cost calculation. Don't hit me on the exact numbers, but just to show you how it works. If you assume that you're twin printing 20 hours a day and you print 300 days a year, then you see that even if you have a machine which is more expensive than maybe a conventional one, so it looks like everything is more expensive, the ink is more expensive, the machine is more expensive, and uh, the amount of print has on us are more expensive. But if that pays back in a higher efficiency, in a lower ink usage, and in a longer lifetime of a print head, then in the end, your cost is cheaper. So the message here is don't look at the price tag, but look at your price per meter. So digital is enabling this, a lot of these fast fashion uh, desires. Uh, you have unlimited uh, uh, freedom in designs. You can use as many colors as you want. You can print uh, every design you want. You're not limited to a repeat. Um, I pass around another one that you will also see in the, in the movie in a, in a while, done by a customer in, in Brazil. But also things like this, which are a challenge in uh, digital, because you can imagine if one of those 80,000 uh, nozzles uh, on the pike is not jetting, you will see a white line in this design. But if it would be irregular, you also immediately see it. So printing a design like this is quite a challenge. But you have the freedom to do everything you want. The brands that are looking for this fast fashion, they want to have very fast delivery. Well, our previous speaker was also telling it. That's, of course, one of the big advantages of digital. You can start printing immediately. I could take a picture of you guys now and print it in, uh, yeah, in, in 30 seconds from now. I only need to rip the file and I can print it. But of course, who would buy a fabric with all you guys on it? But um, it is possible. Uh, on the printer side, the people who are delivering to those brands, they want to be sure that if they get an order and they need to print uh, 20 or 50,000 meters for Zara, 
in three days, they have to be sure that the machine always runs. So reliability in inkjet is a very important thing. And I don't know if any of you, yeah, I know you have quite some experience in digital. So you know that reliability and digital were two words that uh, until recently were not in the same sentence, uh, unless there was a word not in between. So digital printing is, is giving you this, uh, all these uh, uh, solutions, and we are using Archer technology to, uh, uh, to enable this low ink cost, the long life of the print heads, and the reliability of the machine. So in conclusion, yeah, whether you go digital or rotary, both technologies can give you the uh, requirements that are given by the brands to give you the, uh, the printing. So in the end, the customer is the king. The customer doesn't, know, doesn't care how you printed it. He likes it or he doesn't like it. And how you print it is up to us to do it and to choose the best technology given the run length, the time that you need to uh, produce it, given the design itself, and you have the choice. And with both sides, you can come to SPG Prints or former Stork. We have all the products that you need for that. That was it. Thank you.